to the high wire. Well, if you're watching the news or your eyes are open, it does feel a bit like we're moving backwards in time, relocking down discussions about masks everywhere we look. And we're wondering, is the science telling us the truth? So many people asking questions. When you're wearing a mask, are you wearing it just because you have to? Do you believe in it? Is it tight enough? Does anyone appear to be wearing this thing in a way that would make any difference whatsoever? All of these are our questions. And I want to talk about where does the truth actually lie this week? Who's lying? Who's telling the truth? Who should we trust? Can we trust anybody? Well, if you remember how the whole mass discussion started, it sounded a lot like this a couple of months ago. Medical masks like this one cannot protect against the new coronavirus when used alone. Right now in the United States, people should not be walking around with masks. There's no reason to be walking around with a mask. When you're in the middle of an outbreak, wearing a mask might make people feel a little bit better and it might even block a, a droplet but it's not providing the perfect protection that people think that it is. And often, there are unintended consequences. People keep fiddling with the mask and they keep touching their face. A surgical mask, let's start with that one, does not protect you from, the resp uh, from, from a respiratory virus. It's got uh, leaks all around it, and uh, it's really designed as a barrier protection for people in the operating room. That's why they call it a surgical mask. The N95, which is the one that people are buying up, important right. also to understand that uh, that, that N95 mask, uh, I have to be fit tested for it. I've got to make sure I've got a tight seal to wear it as a health care provider. The average person out there, the average citizen, that mask is not going to protect them. And as a matter of fact, in most cases, they're actually going to increase their risk of being contaminated with, with a virus when, they, when they're wearing that mask improperly because they tend to touch their face, they tend to move it around. It's very uncomfortable, it's hard to breathe in. Not only are you not preventing yourself from getting uh, a disease, you may be increasing your chance of getting a disease by wearing that, that, that mask. Now, I'm pretty sure those weren't computer simulations of who we believe to be the heads of our health department. It sounded like a lot of knowledge and information and science-based evidence that we were being given there. And I know some of you are probably saying, Dell, you've already played that clip. Are we doing this again? Well, did you happen to see what Tony Fauci said just last week about those statements? I mean, right, we're wondering, why am I wearing masks? Why are there wars going on in grocery stores right now? And what was it? What was he saying to 60 Minutes, Tony Fauci? Uh, you know, what does Surgeon General mean? Well, this is apparently what they meant from Tony Fauci's own mouth. What about a month or so or two or three ago when people were saying, you don't really need to wear a mask? Well, the reason for that is that we were concerned, the public health community, and many people were saying this, were concerned that it was at a time when personal protective equipment, including the N95 masks and the surgical masks, were in very short supply. And we wanted to make sure that the people, namely the healthcare workers, who were brave enough to put themselves in harm ways to take care of people who you know were infected with the coronavirus, and the danger of them getting infected, we did not want them to be without the equipment that they needed. So we lied to you. I think is about the only way we can take what Tony Fauci just said. We were worried about the frontline workers who apparently, I guess, shop at Walmart and Costco to get their masks because that's where we're getting our masks, right? Is that where hospitals go to get their masks? When I was at Costco or we were there and we we're thinking I should probably get a mask, did you know you were interrupting the hospital supply chain by purchasing at Target, Costco, uh, uh, and, and, you know, Home Depot, I suppose? I mean, it doesn't make any sense, and it sure sounded like what happened to all the signs you were talking about? What happened to the Surgeon General? So we aren't touching our mask and moving it around, and that is not a problem, and the gaps in air and unfitted masks uh, really were not a problem, um, that we were just making that up. We were just telling a little bit of a fib.